a new AI coding agent just dropped from GitHub. This is GitHub Copilot. It's an AI coding agent that brings the power of Claude Forsonet directly into your terminal. I've been testing this since it dropped in public preview and I'm going to show you exactly how to set it up, how to use it for real coding tasks and also how to get results. Even if you've never used GitHub CLI before, whether you're a student learning to code, web developer, or building your own projects, this tool can handle everything from debugging to writing entire functions. Now, just a quick note, I'm upgrading my recording setup so you can see these terminal demos even more clearly. If you want to support Creative Inc. Academy, there is a link down in the description. Every bit you can is going to help me bring more sharper, cleaner, and clear videos and tutorials about latest AI softwares and tools. Now, I've been testing this, so I'm going to show you everything that you need to know how to run it, how to use it to write code, and everything that is there to know about it. Is it good? Is it powerful? Everything you're going to learn about this. Now, for you to use this, you need to log into your GitHub account. And right here, there is there are instructions on how you can install it. Because I'm on Windows, I'll get the npm install g github slash copilot. This is the command that you need to copy for you to install GitHub CLI onto your machine. Open your terminal of your choice and paste the command right here, then press enter. And just wait for it to install. And just like that, as you can see here, it says it has added five packages in two minutes. So we're going to copy this copilot and we'll come back here in our terminal. We'll just come back here and paste our copilot command. We should be able to see it running. And just like that, as you can see here, this is how it looks like. This is Copilot and it looks clean. It looks new, just like any other CLI out there. Yeah, this is what you're going to see here. It's going to ask you, do you trust the files in this folder? Just like in the VS Code IDE, right here, you can just use the arrows on the keyboard to choose between these options down here. There's the yes, proceed, yes, and remember this folder for the future session, or no, which is actually pretty good. I just, just press on yes, proceed. I think this is what I want here. I have a GitHub account. If you don't have a GitHub account, just create a GitHub account. It's very simple. Go to github.com, then you see the sign in button there. I'll just press on the first option here and wait for it to configure. I'm sure it's going to open the web browser. So here it's saying, press any key to copy and when it shows you that, just press enter to proceed. It's going to open a web browser here, which is going to uh, take us to the login page. I just want to allow this here. Okay, when I allow it, I need to paste the code that I copied, then just press continue. Then I'll authorize this. Just click on authorize. Congratulations, you are all set. And here, because I'm really curious on how powerful it is i really want to show you what it can do i'm just going to give it a prompt real quickly here so that you can start seeing how powerful this is it's going to create a simple browser-based chess game using html css and javascript all right so just press enter here so we have a game here that looks beautiful just like this and it was created by copilot cli Honestly speaking, I think it's good if it can build a game like that. It's capable of doing great things. It's powerful and so it's in, it can build anything that you'd want it to, to build. Okay, so number two, I'm going to give it a prompt. I'll give it a prompt to build a movie tracker, a web app that is going to use HTML CSS and JavaScript to create a movie tracker, right? So yeah, it should start building right down here. We have all this beautiful good look. Let me just expand the window here so we can see how the how good this looks. <clears throat> right? So we have everything here. These are the movies that are showing here. If I click on any of these movies, it opens. Let me just close this. It's going to open the movie details page. Here you can see uh, we can mark this as watched. If I mark it as watched, it's going to open this dialog box. It's beautifully done. You can also leave I can leave a review here and I can also start it or rate it like that then I can click save the review this review is going to be visible here so we have two reviews so yeah if you ask me 
Copilot CLI is not bad, it's good. It's capable of doing things like that. The powerful thing about it is it uses the cloud for Sonnet. So yeah, it is that powerful, it can view things like that. This is powerful, the power of GitHub Copilot now in your terminal, right? All this is really good. It's very simple to set up, it's not even difficult. All you have to do is just run the npm install g github slash copilot then to run it just run the copilot command then you'll be able to use it so this is new and right now it is free if you're using linux or mac os it's not going to have any problems with you but if you are using windows like me you might face some problems that is because on windows it's experimental so the prerequisite for you to be able to use it on windows you have to install node.js you know version 22 or higher and the npm 10 or higher on windows also you have to have powershell version 6 or higher which is the these are prerequisites so if you don't have any of these prerequisites mate you can have uh, some problems but it's not difficult yeah this is pretty good it looks good here it's not uh, it looks good and it's powerful but i think anyone can actually use this and so yes this is how powerful the github copilot cli is if you want you can go ahead and test it also on other projects to just see how powerful this is it is really powerful it is really good and i love the fact that it is free right now which means anyone can come here and test it and see how powerful it can handle their projects i love it and if it's able to do all this powerful it's good it's really good when it comes to design and it can do all these beautiful things without wasting time it's also fast which means you can accomplish so much work in a short period of time so i want you to try this out test it and see how powerful it is